welcome to Cooking at the Vault. Today I'm going to make a wonderful summer meal that will consist of a baked salmon, a lentil and grape salad, and a wonderful buttermilk pie for dessert. But first of all, I want to introduce my guest for today. This is April Gorski. Hi, Ruthie. Hi, April. Thanks for doing? joining oh, me. Oh, I am happy to be here. Watch the boiling pot. I've got it started already for one of the courses. But first of all, let's talk about some food and some cooking, because I know you like to cook, but I, I think do. you have some challenges at your home making a meal that everybody likes. I do. I have a husband who's a vegetarian, and I have a daughter who's a partial vegetarian, and another daughter who will eat all meat. So every <laughs> evening is a new trial at my house. Well, so you get to try all sorts of fun different recipes. We try lots of recipes. Are you a fan of salmon? I am. Well, uh, salmon is one of my all-time favorites, and um, my husband went fishing last year and bought salmon back, but unfortunately it's gone, so I'm using salmon from hy V tonight, so I think it looks wonderful. So we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, April and I are going to get started on our meal. So don't go away. We'll be right back on Cooking at the Vault. Welcome back to Cooking at the Vault. I'm Ruthie Rogers and my guest today is April Gorski. We are going to be preparing a baked salmon, but before we get that started, I'm going to go ahead and we'll put the lentils in the boiling water because they take about 20 minutes and they are part of our lentil and grape salad. So if you want to go ahead and open those, we'll get those oh. to boiling and oh. I've not ever done a whole lot with lentils before, but when I taste tested this recipe, I really liked it so where did this recipe come from this recipe actually came from the food network from giada from everyday italian and we'll talk a little bit more about that recipe when we get to it so those will boil i'm going to go ahead and prepare the salmon if you want to get the pan and tear off a couple sheets of foil we're going to wrap oh, the salmon in the foil so this is a baked salmon um, doesn't come from a recipe book I love salmon and this is a recipe that my father kind of has used over the years. He likes to take a whole salmon and make a stuffing out of the carrots and the onions and the lemon and stuff inside of a whole salmon and then wrap it in foil and either bake it in the oven or on the barbecue or is, is very good. We used to do that for Thanksgiving along with a turkey so kind of mixes it up but I didn't get a whole salmon I just got the the salmon pieces and you're just going to season them with salt and pepper to start with. You always want your seasonings to bring out the flavors. Some good ground black pepper. And we will Let's go ahead and stick them on here. Maybe one more just because okay. it does get kind of juicy. Okay, and you want to transfer your fish to your foil. And then you want to start by just covering with the carrots. And I've shredded, this was about three whole carrots that I shredded. And I did get wounded doing it. Those <laughs> microplane shredders are very sharp, so I was glad I didn't do that on camera. And then you want to place your onions. You can leave them in the rings or you can dice them if you want to. My husband's not a big onion fan, so the bigger that he can pick them out, the easier. <laughs> As with it goes better children. at my house and, mm -hmm. and kids, yeah, but if, if you want to, you can dice them up. Just a few. And then you're going to take your lemon and you want the juice of the lemon first. And before you juice the lemon, you want to just kind of roll it out. It gets the juices mm -hmm. moving around inside mm -hmm. there. And I'm going to use one of our handy dandy citrus juicers. Stick it in there, open side down. And you just want to squeeze the juice. Well, that is handy dandy. Over the fish. <laughs> Makes wonderful lemonade. If 
if you don't have whole lemons, you could, of course, use bottled juice. lemon mm -hmm. juice. But they're in season now and actually not priced too bad at the store. So, And then I like to cut just a few pieces to lay over the top. Get a few more taste from the lemon. Okay, and that's it for putting it together. Just want to kind of seal the foil. Okay. I didn't make this quite big enough. And we are going to bake this in a 350 degree oven. Salmon doesn't take too long. Maybe yeah. I'll take one more of those sheets and yeah. kind of wrap it around. I didn't get them from quite the top big enough. Down. And for about 15 to 20 minutes, since it's in the foil, it will kind of steam so you don't have to worry about overcooking it and having mm -hmm. it dry out. So, And not any mess. No mess. Easy no cleanup. Mess. So I'm going to stick this in the oven. And when we come back, we're going to assemble our lentil and grape salad. So mm. stay right here. We'll be back with more cooking at the vault. The lentils are done. Hi, welcome back to Cooking at the Vault. I'm Ruthie Rogers with my guest April Gorski, and we are about to make a lentil and grape salad. The lentils have been boiling for about 20 minutes, and April, I'm going to have you drain them and put them in the bowl because they should cool for about five minutes. Okay. And I'm going to finish chopping and getting all the ingredients ready to go into the salad. I'm going to chop the last of these scallions up. This uh, recipe came from the Food Channel, which I am a huge fan of, and I one of my favorites is Giada De Laurentiis. She's got the Everyday Italian, and this is one of her recipes. I've never done too much with lentils, but I thought the recipe looked very interesting, so I, I wanted to try it, and after I tasted it, I thought it was great. It's, I think, a really good recipe for summer with the, the lemon vinaigrette that we're going to top it all off with. It keeps it real light and good for a barbecue or eating out. So I've just cut two scallions. I've got a cup of red grapes, a cup of green grapes halved. I have chopped and diced a whole cucumber, taken the skin off first, and chopped and diced a red pepper. Right now I am taking the rind off of a lemon, and remember you only want to get just the top part, you don't want to get down into the white or it becomes bitter. And this is going to give me about two teaspoons, which is what this asks for. I've also got a half a cup of hazelnuts that I toasted, which I have found you can do them very easy in the microwave. Have you ever done that, toasting your nuts? I have not. It takes about one minute. They never burn like they usually do when I try to toast them in the pan. Yes. So that's very that. easy. Mm -hmm. So this is two teaspoons of the lemon. And the timer's going off, so that means our salmon's done. So I am going to take the salmon out of the oven and we will let it set. Nice and fast. Okay, so the lentils are ready. For the vinaigrette, I am going to use the juice of the lemon, which is comes out to about a third cup. And then you're going to use a third cup of olive oil. But you want to put your lemon juice in first and then whisk in your olive oil. Now can you use the artificial or the the bottle? The bottle. Mm -hmm. You sure can. Okay. But since you need the the rind for the the recipe as well. It's nice to just go ahead and use the, the, real. the real stuff. You need your handy dandy. I know. So then I'm going to, actually I'm going to wait and whisk that. Let's go ahead and add everything to the lentils. Okay. 
working with them. Just set that here. Okay. And again, I've got a whole cucumber cubed, a cup of halved red grapes, a cup of green grapes halved, a chopped red pepper. I love all these flavors, don't you? Mmm, it's very pretty. And I've got a half cup of hazelnuts chopped. I'm going to use my scallions and my lemon rind. everything in and just kind of mix it all up. It's not just good tasting, I think it's pretty, all the colors and... Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. Festive. Do you do much with legumes or...? We have a lot of beans, but we don't necessarily eat lentils. It's maybe kind of an acquired taste, I think, maybe, that people have to have kind of like... Some people like peas, but they don't like split peas, and that's kind of what these remind me of, but... Mm -hmm. They're very healthy for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to try and fish out the seeds from this and then we're going to whisk in the olive oil. And if you whisk it in slowly, it tends not to separate. Oh, that's the tip. So, you want to do it slowly, just kind of pouring in and adding a little at a time instead of just dumping the whole third cup in. And it really doesn't look like enough dressing no, for as much doesn't. as in there, but it you'd be surprised not. at how citrusy it does taste. I think having the, the grated lemon rind in there does help. Okay, so we're about... And then we want to add some kosher salt and some ground black pepper. Give it another quick stir. And then just pour it in and we're going to mix it all together. And I would probably put it in the refrigerator for about an hour. Okay. Let all the flavors meld together and let the lentils cool completely down. Doesn't that look good? Mm-hmm. It does. And look how easy that was. How easy is that? Pretty easy. And that's all there is to it. So there's our lentil and grape salad. And when we come back, we are going to make a buttermilk Ooh. pie. Mm. Very easy, it's all done in the blender. It just takes a couple minutes oh. and stick it in the oven and we'll be ready to plate up our salmon. So stay with us, we'll be right back with more Cooking at the Vault. Can't wait. Welcome back to Cooking at the Vault. I'm Ruthie Rogers with my guest April Gorski. We just finished preparing our lentil and grape salad, which looks wonderful. It's mm -hmm. in the refrigerator cooling mm -hmm. a little bit. We're now going to prepare probably the easiest pie you could ever make. Good. They used to call it Miracle Crust Pie or mm. Impossible Crust Pie. I don't know, a lot of different names for it. But this is coming out of the book that we've used previously, um, Robin to the Rescue. It's one of my favorite books. Everything's easy and very good. So it's called Anita's Impossible Buttermilk Pie. Anita? Anita. Anita. Okay. I'm not sure who that is, but what you're going to do is very simple. You're going to put all your ingredients into a blender. I've got a cup of buttermilk. I've got three eggs. And I have a third cup of melted butter. Put all your wet ingredients on the bottom then it doesn't stick and everything goes in better. Mixes up faster. One and a third cup of sugar. Sugar is good. <laughs> no fattening at all. And you've got a third cup of Bisquick which is kind of an odd uh -huh. addition but that's going to kind of set up at the bottom and actually kind of makes a crust because you're going to pour this into just a prepared 
pie plate, you're not gonna actually put it into a crust. Last ingredient is going to be one teaspoon of vanilla. So we're just gonna put the lid on this. Make sure it's on tight or it could make a mess. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna blend it for a minute or so. But Ruthie, it's more, that than, easy. It's more than baking pies, I like to eat the pie. <laughs> well, that's the most important part. <laughs> Just pour it into a greased pie plate, nine inches. Okay. And it's going to bake in a 350 oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And when it comes out, it's got a little bit of a crust that the Bisquick makes. And it's kind of a creamy custardy texture. So. That's going to bake for a while, and right now we're going to go ahead and plate up the salmon that's been resting since it came out of the oven. Mmm, that Ooh, looks how good really does good. That look? Yum. Smells really good, too. Just kind of set some garnish. Now, how long did this cook, Ruthie? It cooked just 20 minutes. Let's see how easy it'll come off of here. Usually comes off pretty easy because it had the skin left on. To be safe, maybe you could, I'm catching the foil. Mm -hmm. You could spray the, the foil a little bit. Yum, look how pink and. Mm -hmm. And it's so thick and it Oh, it looks perfect. So fast. Looks perfect. I can't wait to eat this. Okay, one more piece. Let's see how graceful I can be. Want me to move this closer? Uh oh, it's the skin sticking. There you go. Get it on there. Look how good that looks. Mm. Go ahead and set it down there. Okay. Okay, we're done with preparing the salmon, and now we're going to garnish our dessert. I've got a pie that I baked ahead. It's all done, and it's cooled. You want to let it cool a little bit before you serve it and then just garnish it with powdered sugar. Mmm. Doesn't that look good? I just it does look good. Yum. Very simple, very easy, and it can be decadent enough to take to a party. So mm -hmm. we are ready to sit down and have our meal, so let's recap what we did today on cooking at the vault. Our first dish was a savory baked salmon. We started with two cuts of salmon, shredded carrots, a fresh lemon, and sliced onions. We started by laying the carrots over the fish, then lay the onions over the carrots and cover it all in lemon juice. Next, we wrapped it up tightly in foil to trap the moisture in, then placed in the oven and let bake for about 20 minutes. Next, we made a lentil and grape salad. You'll start by boiling the lentils until they're tender. Then we added the fruit, vegetables, and nuts, mixing it all thoroughly. We mixed the dressing, then poured it over the salad, and it was ready to serve. We topped the meal off with a buttermilk pie. To start, we had milk, this quick eggs, sugar, and flavoring. We poured all of these ingredients into the blender and blended them for a couple minutes. Then we poured the mixture into a pie tin and baked for 25 minutes. After that, we garnished it and served. <laughs> okay, we're done in the kitchen and we are ready to enjoy this meal. April, how easy was that it was to prepare? Easy. I mean, everything very. took you know, less than 20 minutes to make, and it looks wonderful, so we're going to enjoy our meal. So on behalf of my guest for today, April Gorski, I'm Ruthie Rogers, and this is Cooking at the Vault. Do we get to eat now? We get to eat now. Okay. okay. For today's menu card, as well as clips for upcoming episodes, go to the MCG website at www.mahaska.org 
And for more healthy living recipes, go to Hy-Vee's website at www.hyvee.com.